here it finally is my full settings and guide to playing CSGO on controller. First, I wanted to start by saying I use Rewast or ReWASD. It's a paid software. And you can either buy the full license for $26 or you can pay $14 for Rewast plus advanced mapping, which gives you access to everything needed to play CSGO on controller. There's a few reasons that I prefer and it's almost necessary you use Rewast instead of Steam's native support. Firstly, Steam's native support is just kind of buggy. And I went through hundreds of configs thinking it was just me, but many people have experienced this. On top of this, if you want to play Face It, I believe Steam's controller input is naturally blocked by Face It's anti cheat, while Rewast isn't. And as for CS2, there's no in game controller settings. So if you want a truly detailed remapping, Rewast is the only way to do that right now. Starting with the face buttons, I have circle is buy menu, X is use, square is crouch, triangle is bomb, and hold to reload. Why I use triangle and circle is bomb and buy menu is because I don't press them that often and they're kind of in an awkward position. I keep use and crouch on single binds and close to the joystick so they're easy to press and there's no delay. As for the D-pad, right is push to talk, down is drop, left is inspect, and up is walk, and double tap is switch hands. My claw grip may look awkward, but since I'm resting my hand primarily on up D-pad, it doesn't cause any strain on my finger, and I can play for hours without any discomfort. As for the bumpers, I might feel flipped to some of you, because I aim and shoot with the bumpers and pull up my weapons with the triggers. While I mostly just carry this habit over from other FPS games, I feel it helps for gyro, as shooting with the triggers kind of lets the controller float around more. Right trigger is my primary weapon, and left trigger is my secondary weapon. To pull out my knife, I click right stick. I have a purely aesthetic macro on top of this that just insta inspects my knife and will repeat inspect it if I'm holding right stick down. With the rewash setting, left stick to WASD. In a weird dead zone, you can counter strafe, air strafe, and do almost anything someone on a keyboard can do. While I use a pretty large X dead zone, I use an even larger Y dead zone. This will stop you from inputting W or S when you're trying to simply A D strafe. As for the right stick, I use right stick to mouse. I use 100 X sensitivity and 33 Y sensitivity. This is the curve. Just kind of eyeballed it. And I have a pretty large dead zone on here too. My right stick sensitivity isn't really too important. So I just keep it pretty high so that I don't have to be very precise with it. The reason my right stick doesn't have to be very precise. This right here. Gyro or motion controls. If you're not familiar with gyro controls. I recommend you go watch Solar Light's video on the topic. While he's playing Team Fortress and not Counter-Strike. His production quality and ability to explain the subject. Way better than mine. My gyro sensitivity in Rewast is 38, 38, and I use 0 or 1 smoothing. This is my curve. I originally started with ID Crossblades Valorant curve, and this is where I've gotten from that. I use 0 dead zone, and I just kind of eyeballed these. I use a very high stick and gyro sensitivity, and I recommend starting lower, a lot lower. And if you end up working your way to my sensitivity, cool. But if not, don't feel bad. PlayStation button I use as my clip through OBS replay buffer. The mic button I use to mute OBS for streams. Share is my scoreboard. And options is pause or escape. For the touchpad, it's kind of a weird situation. I use left for decoy. And also put me in a second shift layer. Which switches my triggers and both my sticks to pull out my grenades. On this shift layer is also my jump throw bind, which is triangle. So you'd simply hold touchpad, pull out your grenade, and then jump throw, let go of touchpad. While you can see the right side of the touchpad says jump, there's no bind. This is because while Steam is a buggy mess, and you might not be able to use the in-game settings, it's still the only way to emulate mouse wheel. For this, I use a config that only has Right trackpad bound to scroll wheel up. Through Steam layout, 
you select scroll wheel and then apply both the clockwise and counterclockwise to scroll wheel up. It will work even without having to find scroll to jump to the console. I use 168 sensitivity with medium spin friction and vertical swipe direction. As you can see, I'm jumping with my finger scrolling on the touchpad. But with my finger still, I no longer jump. To get this to work properly, you must use dash no joy in the launch options. This will block the controller input from accessing in-game settings, but your Steam layout will still work. This also eliminates a bunch of the bugs, and without this setting, you may not even be able to bind scroll wheel. As for my current keybinds and sensitivity, I use 3.2 in-game sensitivity and 1.0 scope sensitivity. And most of this stuff is default with a few exceptions here and there. Remember that these are simply just my binds and I recommend tweaking them to fit your needs. With that being said, I'm going to close out the video here. Make sure you head down to the description where you can find the link to not only these configs, but to the rest of my socials like Twitch and TikTok.